What's up LV viewers and welcome back to Dark Deception Monsters Immortals, the beta version of this game at least. As you can see in the lower left hand corner we have updated the version 1.0.9 which means there has been frequent changes to this game, frequent updates to refine the experience. And today, um, this is probably going to be the last video I do on the beta because there's not too much to cover, there's only two maps and six characters. But I am going to show off the remaining characters I haven't tried yet. Um, including the Gold Watcher you see before you. Yeah, let's get into this! Okay, yeah, we are on the monster, so because uh, I already introduced him, we might as well go with our boy the Gold Watcher. Golden Demise, the Gold Watcher rapidly throws axes in a straight line towards his intended target, dealing massive damage. One thing I didn't notice when I was originally playing is that the monsters are divided into classes. You can see that Murder Monkey and Dread Ducky are balanced, Agatha is speed oriented, and the Gold Watcher is reliant on power. Which uh, means that while Agatha is the fastest, she can't deal much damage, and the Gold Watcher is not very fast, but he can deal massive outputs of real damage. I've, tr I've played these two characters in my spare time, and I can say they both have their strengths, they both have their weaknesses. And I'm quite excited to get into this. Deadly Decadent Shard Mayhem. So I'm already a Goal Watcher, so I should fit right in. Alright, let's start off with collecting an item, and I have definitely learned a lot more about how this game works, what a lot more of the items do, and just generally get a better understanding of how to play. Um... Because in the last video, I don't think I fully grasped what much of the um, powers did. But I, I, I do know the majority of them at least. I'm still learning a little bit, but hey, I'm going in with better understanding. There's another Gold Watcher there. Uh, he seems to want to dodge me. I hear a murder monkey. Uh, let's use some speed. Where are ya? Oh, hello. Your death must occur. You are not coming out of this alive, bro. You are dead. No, 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 no. You can't outrun me. What do you think you're doing? You don't mess with a gold watcher on their own turf. Now, if I was in the hotel and this was the same confrontation, well, that would be a different story. But no, you do not come in the my hedge maze and mess with me and expect to come out of the ordeal alive. Even with super speed, I'm really not that fast, to be honest. Like, I'm still relatively slow, but you saw my power output on that monkey. That was in that was definitely more. There's someone over there. I want him to see me and I want him to start the confrontation because I have a buff. Or I can activate my buff. Uh you know what? Ultimate. Yeah, that didn't go too well. He just speed boosted me on me. I see someone over here. Oh, it's just two murder monkeys. Well, why don't I just kill you both? Wouldn't that just be so much simpler? Ooh, I'm surprised no one's activated trap time or boss time. Be and I feel like at now that I've said that, it's probably gonna get activated. I mean, we'll see. Oh, oh, are we- let's have a duel, fellow watcher. Oh, yeah, he does a lot of damage. Uh, I'm not gonna- yeah, I'm gonna flee. Uh, okay, good, he had the same idea. I didn't want him chasing after me. New wave, awesome! Oh, I saw a murder monkey! Uh, ooh, nice, just a little buff to my shards. It's not a reveal shard, uh... Ah, darn, he got me. Um, but that shard power-up, that's not a reveal shard like I initially thought it was. It just gives you, like, a... It gave me, like, 25 shards there, I think, so it just ups your counter by a certain amount. Which is pretty cool, very useful. Especially when you're as slow as a Gold Watcher. I have a feeling I'm not gonna win, honestly, because Gold Watcher, the way he most accumulates shards is by getting kills. But I mean, I, I'm not coming. I'm not seeing too many people, and we just got a new wave, so that's good. Uh, can we get speed? Ooh, okay. So this is a version of telepathy. You could see the uh, general location of threats. So that works for me. Not as good as in the original game, because like you can't identify what the threat is. But hey, it's handy. Sadly, the murder monkey can outrun me, so that's an issue. But, I mean, final wave? We haven't had- Oh, oh, okay, I'm going to, uh, you're, you're going to be an issue, aren't you? Come over here, you're just about dead. 
Oh, speed. Yeah, let's get over to him. Because I want to finish him off. That'd be really handy. Oh, there's boss time. I was, I was expecting that to come up. Match is ending. I don't... Oh, what are you doing over here? No, no, no. Come back here. You're almost dead. Time's up. Let's see how we did. Third's not bad. All right. Uh, if I got just a couple more, I could have been second. But hey, not complaining. That's pretty cool. I wasn't expecting to get first anyway, because Gold Watcher, you have to be really good at. Um, but I did get two kills, so that's something. All right, monkey business on Maze Escape. So are we the mortal or with a monster? Oh, I'm going to have fun with this. Oh, heck yes. I am so going Agatha on here. All right. So we are the monster against a team of three mortals, and this is cool. I, I rarely get this opportunity, so I'm going to make the most of it. Let's hope the match doesn't collapse or anything. That's actually going to be a little sad. Ultimate ability, hello friend. Agatha does a quick teleport strike to the player with the lowest HP, and that's going to be really fun to control. Problem is though, is that with, like I said earlier, Agatha is definitely a lot faster but she won't deal out as high numbers of damage as the Watcher was able to. So it is going to be an adjustment in play style, but still I think we'll be able to at least do alright. Agatha's claws are just... they're freaky honestly. So they have... look at their soul shard mount, I'm going to use my power. Yeah, minus 25, that's why I waited to use it. Because I wanted him to, to at least accumulate a large sum before I took away some of it. Um, oh, let's go after you. Oh yeah, I damage so fast. No, don't speed boost away from me. No fair. You are a dead man. Oh yeah, I'm faster than you. That's really nice. Yeah, gotcha. Oh, and even like here, you could see where mortals are. And that is like, if you look in the upper... Oh, I slipped on a banana. But if you look in the upper right, I can see where mortals are, and that is very handy. I slipped on another banana. They are just everywhere. I sli- Yeah, that's just embarrassing. Oh, I see you. Oh no, you're not outrunning me. You can't damage me, I gotcha. Heck yeah, it's fine if I slipped on that banana. I see you over there. I'm coming after you. This may not be my turf, but you don't belong here any more than I do. Oh, there's more, more monsters over here. Or not monsters, mortals. Come on, get you, get you. I am determined to kill you. Our ultimate didn't really seem to do anything. We kind of just teleported nowhere, so... Probably a minor bug, but hey, no biggie. You can't, We both have speed boost. How much speed boost do you got? You just keep constantly boosting. Heck yeah, I'm having fun with Agatha. This is going really good. Trap time. Okay, so that's gonna hurt me as much as it hurts everyone else because there are bananas everywhere. Die, die. Heck yes, I am going great, honestly. This is... Oh, I. This is the best game I've ever had with Agatha. Problem I am a little concerned with is that they do have quite the amount of soul shards. And actually, let's activate our ult. Oh, I teleport back to where I initially was. Okay, I see. That's interesting. I could use a health pack, honestly. Boss time. All right, this might might have been a mistake. Portals open. No, 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 no. That's not good. Okay, let me go by the portal. Let me just camp out by there. So I'm waiting by the port. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, I would prefer it if you didn't kill me. We are on a similar side, I would hope. Yeah, they are just coming after me. Okay, they are gone. So I'm just gonna wait by the portal. It sucks because I can't, like, get rid of the portal. So if they get past me, it's game over, basically. There's someone coming through here. So let me uh, teach them a lesson. <laughs> No, dot. Yeah, you're not getting in that portal. You're not. I'm guarding this with my life. Oh, someone else is coming. Let's go teach him a similar lesson. Wait, what? Did they? 
I think they were invisible or something. Because... Yeah, I, don't, I think they must have been invisible, because I saw them on the map and... I quite honestly did not know what was going on. I gotta get to the portal, though. Is there someone over here? I think there's someone over here. No, 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 you are not going in that portal! Alright, well, he may have went into the portal. But still, that was a really good game. I, how much kill- I got seven kills. I consider that a, a part of a success, maybe. Alright, so we are on the mortal side this time, and we are back in Monkey Business, the hotel. And we are gonna try out the one mortal we didn't have a chance to last time, Detective Evans. Ultimate ability, Freeze Flash. Detective Evans shines his flashlight instantly, freezing any target hit by the light beam for 10 seconds. I think I said that last time, but I mean, might as well do it again, because we're actually going to be playing him this time. Um, so it's basically like a similar to Primal Fear, but we'll see how it goes. I haven't played too much of him, I mostly play Doug, but I'm sure he's still pretty cool. I feel right at home here, just in the hotel, collecting shards. Gives me a lot of memories from the original Dark Deception, because I've played that level a lot. Who is our enemy? I'm trying to listen. I can't tell. And we kick the bananas. That is something I learned last time that is really handy to do. There's someone. Oh, wait, wait. What? I might be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I saw a gold watcher. There is a gold watcher. What? I think the matchmaking might have did a little oopsie. It gave us two monsters instead of um three mortals and only one monster, so... We're just gonna roll with it. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if me and my fellow mortal can still accomplish our task of collecting all 400 soul shards and not die too much in the process. Okay, so we're back in, and now that we know there are two pursuers, we gotta be very cautious because we have a hard hitter and a fast runner. That's not the greatest combination. We got a health pack in case one of them does do a little sneak attack on us. So we could heal a bit of our injuries. I have no idea what- Oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he- You saw how much he did? He took out, like, most of my health! Oh my god. No, no, no- Yeah, he used his ultimate on us. Kick the banana, kick it! Kick it out of existence! Have you ever mentioned how much I love the music of Dark Deception? It's so great, honestly. It's... It's... Just, the music for what every level has fits so well, and I just love it. I want to save my health pack in case I get hurt, but that means I can't get any additional items right now. Oh, I... they're both... No, 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 just Agatha. Okay. I thought I saw the Gold Watcher axe. Hello. Uh, you might want to run, boy. Oh. No, no, let's get out of there. Let's hope she doesn't have a speed boost. I almost ran into the banana. So we're over a half, but I'm not sure if we're gonna... Our other friend is down there running, and I'm going to assume he is running from someone, so I'm not gonna go that direction. These bananas are a real pain. Exactly, as I've just demonstrated. No one's activated um, the bosses yet, which is good. I'd rather us not get that. Wait, 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 you were supposed to step on the banana! I laid that down specifically for you! Oh, no, 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 you don't see me. No, no, no. What happened to when I look at you, you don't move a muscle? I missed that. It was a bit easier to handle you instead of you being an absolute brute. Yeah, no, we're not doing this. The match is almost over. Let's get the final amount of shards, let's just get as much as I can. Yeah, I know, I failed. How do we do, though? Yeah, look, this is not fair. Hang on, I'm screenshotting that. Look at that, that's... Come on, two mortals, two monsters. I mean, that sounds fair in terms of numbers, but trust me, it's a lot harder to accumulate all those shards. Especially if, like, the monsters both kill you. No one's on the field for, like, 40 seconds, and it's a pain. Um, but that is Dark Deception Monsters Immortals for the beta. I don't see myself posting any more of this game until we get the full launch. Um, later this month on the 29th, I believe. Um, but hey, if you're watching this video, uh, this, um, the beta is out for one more day. 
and uh, I would definitely recommend you give it a try before they take it down and, you know, do all the patchwork necessary to prep for the final release. But uh, thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.